Hi folks, Dr. Bolkema here, gonna attempt to talk through activity two, which you had a little bit of time, I think, to maybe look at or start reading through in class today, but which we ran out of time to discuss. So we'll see how we can do here. All right, this activity asks us to consider uh, researchers, I have stuff on my chin, that's weird. Researchers, oh, I have so much. Uh, researchers at a major car company have found a function that relates gasoline consumption to speed for a particular model of car. Okay, this makes sense. The amount of gas a car consumes varies depending on how fast you're going. Uh, in particular, they've determined that the consumption in liters per kilometer at a given speed is given by a function. Consumption is a function of speed, C equals F of S where S, the car's speed, is measured in kilometers per hour. Sounds very European, but okay. Uh, data provided by the car company tells us that F of 80 is 0.015, F of 90 is 0.02, F of 100 is 0.027. Use this information to estimate the instantaneous rate of change. I'm gonna highlight that, that seems important. Estimate the instantaneous rate of change of fuel consumption with respect to speed at, <gasps> S equals 90, okay. So, quick um, sanity check, does this data make sense? So if we're driving 80 kilometers per hour, we are consuming fuel at a rate of 0 0.015 liters per kilometer. It goes up to 0 0.02 if we're going 90 kilometers per hour, it goes up to 0 0.027 uh, liters per kilometer at 100 kilometers per hour. Yes, there's a lot happening with the units here, but um, at least the data of this function at first glance seems reasonable. So given that I only have three data points and I'm looking to estimate an instantaneous rate of change, I'm gonna have to go with just uh, an average value, an average rate of change as my estimate. We'll, we'll do the central difference. Let's go for that, that setup. I have to figure out where to hold this item so that I can write on it. Are you seasick yet? Am I seasick? Who can say? Okay, so I'm gonna estimate, well, what are we estimating here? We're really estimating F prime at 90, right? That's our shorthand for the instantaneous rate of change at S equals 90. Um, and I don't want to say that it is equal to, I want to say that it is approximately equal to the average rate of change from 80 to 100 right? 90 is the center of that interval. And if we're going to compute that, we would need to take F of 100, which is 0 0.027, subtract F of 80, that's 0 0.015 over 100 minus 80. Okay, now this is when we get out our calculators. And when I get out my little screenshot of a Desmos calculator that I did already, <laughs> where do I put it? Um, apparently I can only put it in the way. Okay, it looks like when I do that calculation, I don't know why I can't decide where to put it. I'll put it right there. Pan and pinch to control what gets recorded. Okay. Oops, now I have to move my face out of the way. <laughs> Whew. Okay, this is the content you, you're you here for, right? Anyway, computing that, I got 6 times 10 to the negative fourth, so that's 0 0.1234, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, great. 0 0.0006, time for some units, okay. I think my units on this are going to be units of consumption per units of speed. So that's liters per kilometer per kilometer per hour. That's perhaps the, the least useful uh, way to write that. 
right? That's, let's go up here and sort of clarify if we can. This is liters per kilometer versus kilometer per hour. These are ridiculous units, but unfortunately there's no way, there's no way for us to simplify that. Nothing cancels. It's not liters per kilometer and hours per kilometer, and in the end we're just con converting to liters per hour. Nothing works. Liters per kilometer per kilometer per hour. All right, fun. Now let's see, by writing a complete sentence, let's interpret the meaning in the context of fuel consumption of the statement F of 80 equals zero. It's weird that I only put one strange little quotation mark around that. What can we do? Okay, I wanna get that out of the way. Put my little calculator over there. Okay. So what does this mean? Well, 80, that's a speed. And this output, 0 0.015, that's the consumption. So what we're saying is here is that gasoline consumption to speed for a particular model of car. When the car is going, I will say going, 80 kilometers per hour, it consumes fuel at a rate, uh, sorry, at a rate of 0 0.015 liters per kilometer. Sorry, I keep switching back between writing things with the word per or with a little slash. Okay, so our input is in uh, kilometers per hour. So our, our, our velocity, our speed in this case is 80 kilometers per hour. And our fuel consumption rate is 0 0.015. Okay, now this is a little confusing because our function itself is reporting a rate. And so when we calculate when we calculate the average rate of change, we get these strange units of liters per kilometer per kilometer per hour. But hey, let's try to express in a sentence the meaning of what we find. Okay, so what we found was that at a speed of 90, right, at a speed of 90 kilometers per hour, the rate of fuel consumption is changing by 0 0.0006 liters per kilometer per kilometer per hour. Okay, so think of that as if we moved from going 90 kilometers per hour to going 91 kilometers per hour, our fuel consumption, we would expect our fuel consumption to change by 0 0.0006 liters per kilometer. That kind of makes sense. It's a pretty small change, right? Okay, let's see if we can write that down. So when the car is going, traveling, being operated at, going 90 kilometers per hour, the rate of fuel consumption is changing by 0 0.0006 liters per kilometer per kilometer per hour. For instance, Instance, we expect our rate of fuel consumption to increase 
by 0 0.0006 liters per kilometer at a speed of 91 kilometers per hour versus the rate at whew, 90 kilometers per hour. Okay, uh, I hope that is helpful or makes sense. I am happy to talk about this activity with um, anyone who has questions. Uh, if there are things you'd like to discuss. Yay, okay, see you later.